So in front of me, I have one of the newest products from Realink. This is the Argus 4 Pro, and I'm really excited to try this out because if you've watched a lot of my reviews in the past, you may know that I'm a big fan of home security. This is a very high quality CCTV camera that comes in 4K and gives you 180 degree blind spot free field of view. Now, I really like the design of this. And in fact, this design is quite familiar. And when I was looking at this, it kind of reminded me of something. And I just couldn't put my finger on what it was. And I realized what it does look like. But jokes aside, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the camera itself. This comes in around £220 retail price, but they do run some offers and discount codes. So make sure you check the link in the description to find the latest pricing information. I bought the package that comes with the solar panel so I can get constant power to this. There's multiple different ways on how you can power this, but essentially it is wireless. It is battery powered, so you can take it off and just charge it up manually if you just want to use it as a more of a versatile and portable camera device. But let's go ahead and take a closer look and let's set it up and see how it performs. Now I'm a big fan of solar as well. So having a constant power source to it so that I don't need to remove it and charge it up myself. Solar panels I would always recommend. So this is USB type C that you can just connect and I'm gonna set this up outdoors for my back garden. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how it can perform by giving you that 180 degree field of view. It comes with the various mounting brackets, the screws, the wall plugs, user manual and the camera in the box. Now, I really like that this is a very wide field of view camera so that I don't miss any parts of my back garden. But not only that, I just wanted to mention about the night vision on this. Now, I believe it comes in a couple of variations. So one is the spotlight night vision where you do get the spotlight that comes on and it uses the light to make sure it sees everything clearly at nighttime. But this also comes in the model called Color X night vision, which I have. And what that essentially means, it doesn't require the spotlight. It just gives you a very clear view at nighttime of everything in color. And it doesn't give you any type of black and white footage. It makes things very clear and it uses a very high aperture. And I believe it's up to f1.0. So at nighttime and in dark scenes, it can also give you that very good clarity. And more than anything, it just shows you the power of the lenses and the cameras that are built into this because it is very high quality and it does perform at 4K resolution as well at f1.0. And I will be showcasing some samples of that as well. At the bottom, you have yourself the slot here that you can put a micro SD card. This goes up to 128 gigabytes of local storage. So I put a little micro SD in there at 128 gigabytes. You have the power and the reset button there. You also have the quarter 20 inch thread there to mount it to the bracket. And just inside this flap here, you have yourself the USB-C charging port, which I will connect the solar panel to. So it's very straightforward and basic, but also paired with the app, which was very easy to connect to. I've got two Realink cameras already set up. So I've got the Argus PT Ultra, which I've reviewed recently, and now the Argus 4 Pro. And you can see the wide field of view just there. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the options in the app. Now I'll just move the camera to the side. Now you've got plenty of options and I've run through the app before as well. If you go into settings, this is where you can customize a lot of the things. So currently I will charge it up before I mount it on the wall to 100% and then I will connect the solar power so it will always generate and stay at a very high battery percentage. If you go into display, you can actually make any adjustments you wish. Stream, this is where it will show you some of the resolution options and you can switch between two, clear and fluent. And if you look at either of these, you can actually customize them to change the frame rate as well. You can change the resolution if you want. You can also change the brightness level of the camera. You can change the position of the watermarks or the date and timestamps. Brightness and shadows that can also be turned on and off by color day mode and color night mode. If we go back, you can go into audio settings to record the audio as well, which I'm going to leave on. Light, if you want the spotlight to come on, then you can also do that, but I'm leaving this off because I do want to try out the Color X night vision. Motion sensor, I've left that as on. It also has alarm. Camera recording with the local storage, I've set that to on, but you can also change the post motion duration. Eight seconds is more than enough for me, but you can change it between 15 and 30 as well. And I've set the overwrite recording intervals to be for the oldest files first, but you can also customize this to overwrite a certain number of days. And then you have various other settings that you would expect from a CCTV camera. Won't dive in too much. They are pretty self-explanatory. And from the main page, you can also go back and play some of your previous recordings. So if you hit playback, you'll find them there. 
You can also do two-way talk as well. You can sound the alarm, you can turn on the spotlight. So various different options, and you can also change the resolution between clear and fluent directly from this page as well. So let's go ahead and set this up outside in my back garden, and then I will showcase some sample shots that I've taken in both daytime and at nighttime. And then we'll see how this performs, and hopefully this gives you an indication of how great the Argus 4 Pro is. Okay, so I've just mounted this up on the corner of my back wall, and I've connected it to the solar panel, which is just around the corner, because that's where I get more sunlight during the day. And I've tested the connection to my Wi-Fi as the main router is in the room behind this wall, so it works very well. And we'll now go ahead and take a look at the footage of my back garden. This is the audio coming from the Reolink Argus 4 Pro. You're probably not going to use it much for audio, but more for video. But hopefully this gives you an idea of the audio anyway. And look at this wide field of view. So although I'm not going to use this much for audio recordings, the audio was actually very clear, even with me standing about three to four meters away from the camera. But more than that, you can actually see the video is not only super clear, but it's also lag free. Of course, there's a small delay between your movements and real time playback on the app, but it's only about one second and that's actually pretty fast compared to a lot of the other wireless CCTV cameras I've tested in the past. But once you download the video to your phone, that's not even an issue because the clips recordings are what matter most for security purposes rather than the live stream delays. Now let's showcase the night vision, but just quickly, you can see how dark it is out here with this clip I shot with my iPhone. So let's see how the Color X night mode looks. And here it is. You can just see how colorful and bright it actually looks. And note that there isn't any spotlight on to illuminate the garden in any way, but I do have a whole bunch of solar ambient lights around the garden, as you can see. And although you may not be able to make out a person's face because of the ultra wide field of view and the aperture working very high to generate a clear image, it still looks great in seeing the actions of a person very clearly. And from a security standpoint, that makes it one of the clearest ultra wide security cameras you can buy for any type of night vision. And I'm very happy with the results. So there you have it. More than anything, I would say a CCTV security camera like the Argus 4 Pro is more about peace of mind and making sure you do have coverage of your entire area. You can obviously set your sensitivity zone so you don't constantly get push notifications and alerts. But nonetheless, I think it's great and it covers my entire backyard, which is something that I really needed. And if you have any questions about this camera, then as always, drop a comment down below. I'm very happy. Make sure to always set this up in a place where it does actually get good Wi-Fi connections as well, because sometimes you may find it, it may lose connections and it's not really connecting or the streaming live streaming is actually very slow and very laggy. So I've set this up very close to where my main router is. So keep that in mind when you do set up not just this, but any security camera that uses Wi-Fi. As always, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe. I've got new videos and reviews out all the time, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you don't miss any of those ones and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.